Hey guys! So, Nikola Tesla is the legendary physicist and inventor, whose genius continues to amaze us even today. He was the first one to invent alternating current, and he wanted electricity to be accessible to everyone on Earth. At the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries, the great inventor said, one will be able to carry the telephone of the future in their vest pocket. One will be able to get the daily newspaper without leaving home. It will be printed wirelessly on some device, and the cars will be electric. Alternating current, wireless energy transmission, fluorescent light, electric clocks, solar-powered engines, radio, predictions of the emergence of electric cars, the internet, and cell phones. It's hard to believe, but it is just one man who's behind all these discoveries. Unfortunately, many of Tesla's ideas weren't realized during his lifetime due to a lack of financial support. But there were some truly unique inventions among them, which I'm going to tell you about in this video. Wireless Transmission of Electricity About 120 years ago, in 1893, at the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago, Tesla demonstrated wireless power transmission by lighting a row of phosphorescent bulbs in a process called electrodynamic induction. He dreamed that one day such technology would help us transmit electricity over long distances in the atmosphere, providing remote areas with the necessary power for comfortable living. Now, more than a century later, Major companies like Intel and Sony are showing interest in applying wireless power transfer to things like mobile phones so that we could charge batteries without power cords. Teleforce The legendary inventor devoted much time to ideas about ways to quickly destroy an enemy army if they decided to start a war. And one day, he came up with a way to do it. One of his most iconic and controversial inventions was called Teleforce. Tesla decided to share the idea of its creation with the public, and on July 11, 1934, a sensational article was published in the New York Times. In it, Tesla detailed the invention. According to him, a certain device would be capable of destroying up to 10,000 soldiers at a distance of 400 kilometers. The device would use charged particle beams that would travel at a speed of almost half a million kilometers per hour. Their power is supposed to reach a monstrous 100 billion watts, and that would mean instant death for the enemy. Teleforce was often mistakenly called the death ray, but Tesla stated that his project had nothing to do with that concept. According to him, rays couldn't be produced in the required quantities and their intensity would quickly diminish with distance. His project was supposed to use particles, not rays. Tesla understood that to implement this project, he would need a lot of money. So he decided to turn to the wealthiest American entrepreneur, John Morgan, who had previously sponsored his ideas, but he refused. The great inventor also tried to contact the British Prime Minister Chamberlain, but his proposal didn't interest the statesman. After various attempts to find financial support for the benefit of world peace, Tesla turned to the leaders of various countries, such as the United States, Canada, England, France, and the USSR. As evidence of the seriousness of his project, he sent a scientific document titled New Art of Projecting Concentrated, Non-Dispersive Energy Through Natural Media. In it, he described a vacuum tube with an open end and a gas seal that would allow particles to exit, as well as a method of charging particles to millions of volts and a method of creating and directing non-dispersive particle streams by electrostatic repulsion. Aerial Transportation In 1913, Tesla warned the public that one day they would see him flying through the air from New York to Colorado Springs. In the years after the Wright brothers' first flight, Many scientists, including Einstein and Edison, were eager to create their own flying machines. In the early 20th century, numerous patents for eccentric designs from various inventors were submitted, and Tesla was no exception, of course. In 1928, at the age of 72, Nikola Tesla received his last patent titled Apparatus for Aerial Transportation. 
The apparatus was designed brilliantly and resembled both a helicopter and an airplane. In its project, Tesla described and illustrated an open-box type aircraft with a tilting propeller and wing. According to Tesla, the device should have weighed around 363 kilograms and the aircraft should have been able to take off from any point, be it a garage or a rooftop. Its cost was supposed to be $1,000, regardless of the purpose for which it would be purchased. This new invention became the precursor to modern tilt rotor aircraft, or vertical short takeoff and landing aircraft. Unfortunately, Tesla never had the money to create a prototype, and he never managed to fly from New York to Colorado Springs. Tidal Wave Tesla informed the New York World newspaper about his new invention to prevent wars. His project involved using wireless telegraphy to trigger the detonation of powerful explosives at sea. A strong explosion would create tidal waves of such magnitude that they could overturn entire enemy fleets. The newspaper reported that the artificial tidal wave could render naval forces as useless as paper boats launched by children. According to Tesla, his invention could bring the day of universal peace closer. Robotics In 1898, Tesla received a patent describing remote radio control. At an electrical exhibition in Madison Square Garden, he publicly demonstrated his first working robot model in the form of a ship controlled by radio waves. Tesla proved to the astonished audience that it was possible to do without wires. This invention could rightly be called the origin of robotics. Tesla said that his radio-controlled ship created such a sensation that none of his other inventions had ever produced. As often happened with his inventions, many people didn't know how to react to the fantastic robot. Some of the spectators thought that Tesla was controlling the ship with the power of his mind. In reality, he sent signals to the mechanism using a small control box. Tesla's US patent number 613809 describes the first device with wireless remote control, capable of receiving signals and powered by a built-in battery. Tesla did not limit his method to boats. When submitting the patent for his invention, he made sure to include vehicles of any kind and mechanisms for any purpose in it. During the presentation of the invention, he explained that using his technology, only a few people were needed to remotely control a hundred ships or any other means of transportation. However, journalists interpreted these words differently and asked if Tesla could make the boat dive and transport weapons on its own. This question upset the inventor because he had a negative attitude toward anything related to war. Tesla explained to the reporters that his technology was aimed at facilitating human labor and that robots would be able to perform the most labor-intensive work in the near future. Unfortunately, Tesla's invention was so ahead of its time that those who observed it were completely unable to understand its practical application. Earthquake Machine in 1898, Tesla managed to scare almost all of New York during one of his experiments. He developed an oscillator that shook the building and everything around it. The device itself weighed about a kilogram, but the scientist managed to adjust the oscillation frequency in such a way that each small vibration added more energy to the building's bending waves. With a sufficient number of small jolts, even the largest building could be shaken to pieces. Having realized the potential danger of his invention, he smashed the oscillator with a hammer and instructed his employees to claim complete ignorance of the causes of the earthquake, if anyone asked. There is a legend that claims that many of Tesla's scientific works were stolen after his death in 1943. The most valuable to the FBI and other U.S. government organizations were the drawings of an improved version of the Teleforce, also known as the Death Ray. The morning after the inventor's death, his nephew, Yugoslav official Sava Kasanovich, rushed to his uncle's room at the New Yorker Hotel. After inspecting the room, he claimed that some technical documents and Tesla's black notebook, which Tesla had carefully kept, were missing from the safe. An investigation into the theft was conducted by Peter Foxworth, 
assistant director of the New York FBI office. According to him, the government was interested in preserving Tesla's documents, so all of his property was confiscated. John Trump, an electrical engineer from the National Defense Research Committee, was called in for the analysis of the documents they found. After carefully studying them, he concluded that all of Tesla's thoughts and efforts over the past 15 years were speculative, philosophical, and somewhat promotional, often related to the production and wireless transmission of energy. After the end of World War II, beam weapons became of great interest once again. Copies of Tesla's documents were sent to Patterson Air Force Base to test the inventor's concept. However, the results of the experiment were never published. In 1952, the remaining papers and Tesla's property were returned to Belgrade, where a museum was created in his honor. For many years, Western scientists were unable to access most of the inventor's archives. However, this prohibition did not apply to Soviet scientists who came as part of delegations in the 1950s. In 1960, the General Secretary of the CPSU Central Committee, Khrushchev, informed the Supreme Soviet that the Soviet Union was in the process of developing a new and fantastic weapon. This news horrified the world. And many scientists believed that Khrushchev had obtained the real project for creating the Teleforce weapon. Meanwhile, the United States continued its efforts to develop beam weapons. In 1958, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency initiated a top-secret project to develop a particle beam weapon. Due to high financial and time costs, the project was eventually abandoned. Meanwhile, American scientists themselves denied any knowledge of Tesla's documents. In the late 1970s, Americans suspected that a large facility for producing beam weapons was being built near the Sino-Soviet border. Then in 1983, President Ronald Reagan announced the Strategic Defense Initiative and called on American scientists to use their talents for the sake of world peace and to begin developing a large-scale missile defense system with elements of space-based defense. Half a century of research and billions of dollars in investments later, the program is still considered a failure because effective means of defense against nuclear missile attacks haven't been created. Scientists never found Tesla's missing documents. It is quite possible that if Nikola Tesla did know a means of precisely projecting deadly energy beams through the atmosphere, this information may have been stored only in his head. Well, that's all for today, friends. Be sure to hit that like button if you found this interesting. Let me know what you learned in the comments, and we'll see you next time.